Hi, welcome to Case Zion Fashion Business School. Today we'll be illustrating um, how to draft a basic body block. I have once had a video on how to draft a basic body block. But in this video, I'm going to be showing us a more simpler method. The method is beginner friendly and it's simpler than and very fast than the previous method. However, you can check the previous method by clicking the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be drawing out my starting line. Alright, the measurements we need for this is displayed on the screen. So, um, the larger part of the measurements is 35, which are our first measurements. So, we'll be dividing 35, divide 35 by 2. And we add extra two inches. We add extra two inches. That's five divided by two. That's seventeen point five plus two inches. That's nineteen point five. That will be the the width of our paper. Nineteen point five. So I'm gonna square it up. So this is our center front, and here is our center back, and our top line. Now we'll be taking our vertical measurements. So the first one is our shoulder line, which will be two inches from the top inches from the top the next one is our the next one is our handhold line for this case it is eight and a half inch and our next the next one is our boss point which is 9.5 and the next is our under boss which is 12.5 then our back back waist point 15.5 and our front waist point 17. So I'm going to square this through the paper. Marking again so I can have it perfect. So for the line for the front waist we may not need to square it to the center back point. So just halfway, that's okay. For the back waist too, so we may not really need to square it down to the center front point. Just half with it too, and that's fine. So under boss line, boss points, arm line. There's a chart in the description box that indicates um, that we now serve as a guide on how you get your hammer line. And if you need our study guide for beginner one course, you can request for it also by giving a comment. All right, so let's label. This is our shoulder line. This is our hammer line. Our boss point, boss point line, on that boss line, back waist, our 
front waist. Okay, so now we can proceed. Okay, so now we need to draft our vertical lines, and the first one is to partition between the front and the back bodies. And to achieve this, um, to achieve this, we will divide. To achieve this, we're going to subtract our waist measurement from our bust measurement. For this case, the waist measurement is 35. We subtract 29, which is the bust measurement is 35. Then we subtract 29, which is the waist measurement, and we have 6 inches. So you can check the guide too that is attached to this video. You can check the guide that is on the screen. This is going to differentiate the difference because if you notice, our front part has a prolonging, like in our bust. So it means it is more fuller than the back of our bust area. You get that. So the front part, we have more excesses on the front part compared to the back of the compared to the back of the bodies. Do you get that? So for our case, the difference is six inches. Now, taking the study guide, the only we, we need to add, we'll be subtracting half inch from the back. And we had it, so we'll be subtracting one inch from the back and we add it to the front. Subtract one inch from the back and add it to the front. So we divide 35 by 2. We have 17.5 inch. Let me get the paper so I can display this paper. Alright, so our bust, our bust is 35, our waist is 29, so bust minus waist, we have 6 inch. Now from our, um, from our guide, we are going to subtract 1 inch from the front part and add it to the, uh, from the back and add it to the front. So now we divide the bust measurement into 2. And 35 divided by 2, we have 17.5. 17.5. So for the front, for the front, we have 17.5 plus 1. And for the back, we have 17.5 minus 1. 17.5 here, we have 18.5. 17.5 here, we have 16.5. I can't we add it together again. We should get our full bus circumference, which is 35. Which is 35. So this is what we need for our front bodies and this for our back bodies. Now we're going to divide 18.5 now by 2, which will give us 9.25. And we divide 16.5 by 2, which will give us 8.25. And now we can draw our bust uh, level. So this is the center back. So we mark. 8.25 And for the front, we have 9.25 So to be sure that what we did is correct, if you confirm this, we should have two inch difference, which we added from scratch. All right. So now we can proceed. Let's concentrate on the back bodies first. So I would advise that you get our study guide so that we can have um, some detailed um, measurements. Now to get our our neck width, to get our neck width. I'll be using 2.75 for this particular neck. It depends on the size of the neck of the client. So you are expected to measure the neck of the client. For this case, it is 16 inches. So the corresponding neck width for the pattern is 2.75. Then, the next thing we'll be doing is our shoulder line. We to take our shoulder slope line. So the shoulder slope for this client is 5. So I'm going to I just my ruler until it touches um, it touches the shoulder line at five. 
at five inches. So spare my shoulder line. Then the neck depth 0 0.75, nice three with a four inch, then we can very cool. Alright, so on the angle line, we'll be inserting the back width. The back width. For these uh, bodies, our back width is um, our back width is 13.5. So we divide 13.5 by 2, then we have 13.5 by 2, which have 6.75. So mass 6.75. And square to the shoulder line. Right. Now let's draw the armor curve so at angle 45 degrees. At angle 45 degrees, so we are just going to mark out at angle 45 degrees. We're just going to mark 0.75 to make our curve. We are done with our back angle curve, and now we can now we can pause on the back bodies. Let's go to the front bodies. We start our neck depth, which is equal to that of the or neck width, which is equal to that of the neck width at the back, 2.75. Our neck depth is 3 inches. So you can square up the line so we can make a curve. Then on the upward line, we're going to insert our, we're going to insert our front width. Which in this case is 13. So 13 divided by 2, we have 6.5. So we're going to square up from 6.5, about one and a half of an inch. Let's confirm that. So at this point, we can insert our shoulder slope, which is 5 of an inch. Then from that point, we connect to this 1.5. Find the center of these two points. We have two and a half. So I'm going by half of an inch. Then we connect this line to this, to this and this. It's a slight hang of about one inch. Down one inch here. So, by now with our front hand pull, then we can draw our front 
neck pose. Okay. So now we'll be working on we'll be, sh we'll be shaping the waist measurement. So our waist measurement is 29. 29. Can we do the face once again? Our waist measurement is 29. I will take my twenty nine. All right, before this, have the back. So avoid bulging. We are going to go in by half of an inch. I will connect. Connect for the top line. We're eliminating this part. Avoid going in. Alright. So now let's work on our waistline. So on our waistline, to get our waist measurement from the front and back for this, we have 29 hours at our waist. We confirm what we have there and what we have there, and we're going to add it together. So this is seven point. This is seven point seven five. Seven point seven five. And this is nine point two five. So it's nine point two five. This gives us seventeen. So seventeen. Now we're going to divide our weight measurement by two, which will give us twenty nine divided by two. We have. 14.5 now subtract this 17 sorry we subtract this 14.5 from 17 and then we have i believe we should have 2.5 so this 2.5 now we divide it by 2 value 2.5 by 2 We have one to give us 1.25. So I'm going to remove one point. We are going to subtract from the side 1.25, 1.25. The essence of this is so that the line, the side line from and from on the front bodies will not be longer than that of the back bodies. It's going to be equal. So we are going to be subtracting 1.25 from the side to form our side line or our side slope. 1.25. 1.25. So, from our side slope. So, our previous baby body's pattern. For basic body's block has one the single that head and it is waistline, but this time around it's going to be a bust that head. So we'll be using another marker because now we'll be drafting the that. So confirm the difference between the front bodies and the back bodies. From here, or we can calculate it 70 minus 15.5 to give us 1.5. So that's the that intake that will be taken. Taking 1.5 as a dark intake. So on this line, I'm going to go down at about 2.5 from the from the angle line on the front front body side line. I'm going to be going down by 2.5. And on the bus, bus point line, we're going to be taking our, our nipple to nipple measurement, our bus point measurement. For this case, it is 7 over 7 inches. So divided by 2, we have 3.5. So this is our bus point. Now connect the line. 
Connect the line together. Then come down by 1.5 inch. And from this point, we insert our 1.5, insert our 1.5, which is the dart intake, and connect it to the first line to the 1.7, to the 0 0.75 points away from the boss point to avoid bulging or pointiness. All right. Um, This seems longer than this, so we have to confirm this so we can extend this line and readjust our side line here. So what we have here is 5.25. I'm going to be extending this so it will make up as 5.25. And we'll be connecting it to the ammo lines. So Right, so these are that's now that's now that's these are line. It's gonna be our that. So let's form our that leg. Oh cut out. Yes. See where they need. Okay, so with this we are done with our basic, we are done with our basic body block. You see, it is very, very simple. And with this, we can create any pattern. So I'm going to cut it out. With this, we are done with our basic bodies block. Kindly subscribe and like this video. And if you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. Thank you for joining us.